Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Matt and Mike's X Files CCG. Although it's a little, yeah, there's an asterisk. There's, there's, a, there's a difference today. It's not yeah. about the X Files per se. It's sort of the successor. Yes, to the X Files, right? Definitely. You can tell from everything in front of us. There's a lot of Scooby Doo related material here, and we are joined by the one, the only, Brian Woodward. Welcome back to the show, sir. All right. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Yeah. So, I got let's, uh, yeah. So let's through. let's Scooby let's get her going, man. How did you how did you traverse from the X Files? Because uh, we all know the story on how well that ended. Right. Uh, to going into Scooby Doo, how how'd that work out? Well, um, Journeyman Press, which was uh, the brand that uh, um, USPC decided uh, to to use, uh, we were still part of the USPC, and starting January first, two thousand, and we became a uh, a little branch of the company. And Scooby-Doo was one of the uh, things that they had, and Warner Brothers wanted something more done with it. You know, they had we had just a couple playing card card games, and uh, they said, you know, we got the the rules, we own the rules to X Files, um, and you wrote the you know the younger person's version of that, which never got published. So why don't you uh, try to do something with Scooby-Doo? And we'll make it kind of similar, but we'll make it, you know, so it could be sold, you know, Walmart's Target and all that kind of thing. And uh, it went it went from there. Um, myself and uh, uh, another. Uh, why am I all of a sudden names just Brinstein? Yeah, um, he worked with me. Um, he's unfortunately he's passed away, so you won't be able to. Uh, uh, a few years ago, uh, but he he and I worked on the Scooby Doo, and we sat there and watched cartoons, had people take frames of the different episodes, and still the only thing that you're going to find a, a game that actually has frames and clips from the TV show, you know, from the cartoon in it. Everything else is just like you know standing out of an art book or whatever. Yeah, so, I noticed. I did notice that with. With the cards, you can tell it's actually from the episodes. And Mike probably, Mike, um, oh, where Mike? Is? Yeah, Evil Bunny's gone too. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go see if I can find Mike, Brian. Oh, okay. Mike and Matt bringing back mid late night. <laughs> Come on, to me, I see you. Pretending you got us living. You're not fooling me, because I can't see the way you shake and shiver. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> wow. Oh, man. Oh, that was we a really, trip. Well, we, we, really, we really worked out some of our differences. I'm sorry I had to jet away. There was just something I little <laughs> needed to take care of, so. Uh, I'm just going to pop <laughs> Evil Bunny back up there where he belongs. There you go, little buddy. Look how happy Evil Bunny is. He is. We're both very, very, very happy. Right. Life <laughs> is very good right now. So <laughs> you, you missed it. Uh, oh. Brian was telling us how he got involved with the game, and then he was talking about how the the frames on the cards, the actual photos, are from clips from the show. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, the, uh, the, the, the cards... So that there's one thing that we've learned uh, from having these cards is the the rarity. You have to be aware of, of how rare these things are, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, I've asked around. You can't find boosters and stuff like that. And then what's even rarer is the, um, you know, the, the second one that came out, the Alien Invasion set. Uh, there's just almost none of them out there. You know, I, it, didn't, it didn't sell very well. Um, and I, they probably just, you know, trashed it, you know, and then it was what uh, USPC did. They just probably 
send it to the shredder. I don't think they did. I don't think there was anybody like a Mike Mackey with the X-Files, you know. There wasn't a person like that with Scooby-Doo, unfortunately. Yeah, you know? I, I went on. Uh, I was really surprised by this, actually. Um, so the, the many comic books that came, uh, right? right? You know, they're selling these little mini comic books for like 60 bucks on eBay. Are you serious? Really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was like, really? Okay. But it's very rare. I got all the, uh, um, the edit sheets that uh, um, DC sent me uh, for that, you know, so it has like, this is our idea, what we're going to do. And it has all the different pages um, in black and white for that. And then they actually sent me a full um, size version of that comic um, signed by all the people that worked on it and wow. uh, we put it in the glass and everything for me. So yeah, DC, um, uh, uh, DC was in love with us after that. We, we did, uh, uh, they'd sign a really big deal <laughs> for the advertisements. And we actually, uh, I'm not sure what other products you can see advertisements in, but we went through, a, uh, we went to E3 and uh, one, of the, one of the people that worked with us, Adrian, uh, she was our go-to person and I followed her around and we went to, uh, you know, we found people that were making like the Scooby-Doo point and click game. Hey, would you like to trade advertisements and the Scooby-Doo um, uh, kids right on I was doing the seat music CDs hey would you like to you know cross advertise and stuff like that so we had I had names of all these people that uh, Warner Brothers was involved with and stuff like that it was really cool um, and then of course the guy that did all the uh, videos I um, I still have a box I, I found when I was moving uh, all the uh, the original Scooby-Doo scripts from the from the original cartoon back in 69 70 whoa yeah and um, <laughs> wow wow those are probably yeah. uh, quite rare i would imagine yeah probably <laughs> yeah and I'm, I'm sure people don't really have copies of those um i just i just found a, a box i used to have uh, the first three or four seasons of vex files but then i haven't found those again unfortunately and then uh i had a bunch of videos it was funny when they sent us the videos and you, you know, then for us to pull the frames from, um, whoever made the copies cut off the last three or four minutes of every single episode. So every single episode that they sent us was missing the reveal. Uh, oh, no. So you couldn't inadvertently put the reveal on a card, I bet? Well, we couldn't. So what they did is they sent us another. Um, single tape that had the ending of every single episode on it. <laughs> oh, no. So you had to sort through all that to get what so you we had to sort through all that. Yeah. You, you know, there was some guy that worked for, you know, I guess Hanna-Barbera or, or whatever that was basically like, hey, Jim, yeah, we need you to literally cut every three minute ending from every episode of Scooby-Doo and put it on one tape. Dude, are you kidding? Like, and that was his job for like a week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got to watch the reveals of every single episode. <laughs> exactly. exactly. We sat there. My, um, you know, this was work. We had to sit there and watch Scooby Doo cartoons and take notes. <laughs> you know, uh, this would make a good card. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's make a card there. You know, and then we, you know, there was a local guy that they hired to um, go frame by frame in all the videos so the, and we would you know say we want this you know this one you know they had the little time code on the bottom so we want this time code in there and he was the one that found all the stuff like uh you probably found in there like the shaggy's missing his mouth and stuff like that you know all the oh the weird yeah and uh, the yeah, weird the weird stuff like that in there, yeah there, you know? there was there was one remember i i because every, every once in a while if we're just kind of hanging out i'll be like dude we should open a pack and just kind of yeah. look through them you know there because it's like having these like treats that we have you know for years and um mm. and we i opened a pack and i was like dude you, you don't remember what it is i'm trying to remember was it's, it clown related? no well it was the little person 
Oh, the midget one. Yeah, yeah. I don't even think you're allowed to say midget anymore. We're gonna have to bleep it out. Yeah, just bleep it. I guess. I, I guess. But but yeah, it's just one of those things that I was like, oh, that that wouldn't have held up. Well, that's what he was Paul in the episode. You know, he was whatever his name. He was part of the circus episode. So you have the straw man, something the straw man, something the midget, and something the whatever. You know, you had those names of different characters. You know, we didn't we didn't make anything up really i mean all of it was you know pulled from the shows you know and man i found uh, my notes i had all these notes uh for the second series so the first scooby-doo series was only two seasons it was the uh scooby-doo mysteries and then they call it the new scooby-doo movies was the ones that had all the people like Laurel and Hardy and Abner Costello or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, guest more stars. famous guest stars. Yeah, all yeah. the stars. Yeah, Don Knotts was in a lot of them. Harlem Globetrotters, right? All those people. <laughs> and, <laughs> I love that. Harlem Globetrotters. That's great. That's that's a great so episode. That is a great episode. I forgot about that one. Oh, well, Ashley, because of the uh, contracts we made back then, uh, we don't have the rights to uh, use any of those likenesses. And so we couldn't, we couldn't um, use any of the people. So what was the point? You know, we could use, you know, Shaggy and, and I mean, the Scooby gang and everybody, but we couldn't use any of the likenesses except Batman because they own DC. So we could use Batman, but yeah. it didn't get any farther. We did the um, alien invasion based off of the movie um, and uh, there was a couple special cards, eight, you know, we added a couple different mystery people uh, on the, the main, the two aliens from the show. Um, we added, you know, just a, the human and dog version of them and then the uh, alien version of them into the set uh, as a rares, probably, and went from there. Um, it was fun. We, you know, we had the little pop-up cards and we had the foil cards and, yeah, we yeah, wanted to problem. ask you about the foils. Yeah, we, those are really like those pop. Those yeah, we cool. actually we actually uh, pulled a uh, two foils uh, thus far. I got a Scooby Doo foil. Yeah. Nice, um, which is just beautiful. And then an actual is a mystery machine, right? Uh, this one's another malt shop with the oh, another machine park. Another the malt shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, I don't even know which ones. I don't have like a card list. Uh, that says these are the ones that were foils or whatever. I, I really don't know. I don't know if we did all of them or, I mean, I know all the gang runs, you know, all the mystery, all mystery incorporated is in there as foils um, okay. and as pop-ups. But after that, I'm not really sure when you pulled out the, the malt shop one uh, a while back and showed it to me, I was like, Oh, okay. So we had other, Cards that were for <laughs> yeah, they did a so really you, nice job. So you weren't really involved with like the rareness or like the printing or anything of it, or were just sort of like here's I mean, the cards. I was, do with it, a little bit. Yeah, I was. I mean, I was, and you know, these are the rares and stuff like that, but you know, that's not something you really I don't know, you don't you don't pay a lot of attention to. I think Todd actually did more of that, uh Brightstein. He's the one that did was uh really into the card rarities and setting up the sheets and that kind of stuff. I was the, like, I'm this, always been the story guy, you know, and some of the, and the mechanics and stuff, of course, but, you know, the um, story guy in that. But, yeah, he was, and he did a lot of the uh, cards itself, like the, the uh, borders originally of every single card, uh, every type had a different border. So if it was... You know, the Mystery Incorporated had one border. If it was a, a, a location, it had a different border hmm. and stuff like that. But that, you know, got a little too much. <laughs> well, yeah. I wondered, the, they, we had the different colors that we kind of sorted out. Right. I haven't learned the rules enough to know as far as what the colors mean. So we'll have to kind of look into that and see. Yeah. Right. I, yeah. So yeah, the locations are one and... Yeah. yeah, would it would it be possible? I mean, we don't have to go into too many specifics or whatever, you know, like without yeah. quoting rules or whatever. But can you give us a very brief, quick, easy lay rundown of how kind of the game, the game mechanics me worked? I mean, yeah. like if you just two newbies were sitting there and you wanted to teach them in 30 seconds how to play, like if you had any sort of idea. 
Well, let's see. For guys that have played um, X Files for the past twenty five years, Uh-oh. playing X Files and then dumb it down. Um, okay. <laughs> which is us back in high school for yeah. like twenty four yeah. years, I guess. That's twenty four years ago. No, we so played dumb for twenty four years. Oh, oh, oh yeah. See, yeah. <laughs> so, um, Mystery Incorporated is the agents. So you have the entire Mystery Incorporated. And like I said, when we did the Alien Invasion, you got two extras. Um, the instead of conspiracy points and and stuff like that, we had all uh, it was Scooby Snacks. So we had the the little. Uh, the counters that look kind of like kidney beans. Those yeah, we had some, yeah, we got some of those in the uh, the starter pack here. So yeah, those up. in the starter pack. And um, you have X amount of those at the beginning of each uh, turn. And so that's what you use. Uh, one person plays the monsters and the bad, you know, the bad guys. And the other person is playing Mystery Incorporated. And Mystery Incorporated is trying to go to the different locations and the monsters are trying to scare them away. And you're trying to figure out um, what is um, the mystery, you know, who did it or whatever the mystery is, you know, that, um, that, that's on there. And uh, so, you know, you have the same locations and you have, um, you know, the cards that'll help with different things or hinder, you know, the person. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's basically just uh, a kid's version of X Files, really. But uh, people call it um, uh, Scooby Clue, and you know, as a as a joke during the uh, uh, conventions, because it was kind of like you know, Mister you know Mister Rogers with the uh, wrench and the robot was trying to scare you away from the circus, you know. That kind of you know that kind of thing. So, so you you yeah, mentioned you you had mentioned that um, uh, when we talked earlier uh, that you did some conventions and it, it it's got to be pretty interesting because you went from X Files where you're literally hanging out with uh, you know Frohickey and Langley uh, right. at at the safe house right and then the X Files goes under you're like all right cool we're doing this Scooby Doo thing now. Tell us about some of the awesome perks and, and what happened, like getting to go to that. I mean, I'm assuming you met Scooby Doo. Like, I'm assuming well, yeah, that's a real dog. Would have, right? Yeah. Well, they they actually, um, I guess Scooby Doo was, you know, too good for us, so we didn't uh, get the movie or you know any of the people. But um, so what Warner Brothers had for their conventions was this full on Scooby Doo uh, booth of selling all the paraphernalia, shirts and hats and cards and whatever, you know, everything. So they lent us pieces pieces of that. We built our own booth out of that. And um, they rented us the mystery machine. So we had the official mystery machine uh, at the conventions, uh, with, you know, for people to take pictures with and stuff like that. Uh, we had a life-size uh, Scooby-Doo and... There was another, there was another, I can't remember who else it was that we had. It wasn't one of the people. We had a life-size something else. And then we had like fun house mirrors and stuff like that. Um, we had one of the, uh, at one of the cons, I'm thinking it's the one in Chicago. Uh, there was a, uh, a lady there. You know, a lot of the conventions we went to had the people that, uh, like the screen queens from the from the movie from the movies you know the horror different horror movies and stuff like that and one of the ladies from there um before opening wanted to take a bunch of uh, pictures so she got in her skimpy costume uh before the show and took a bunch of pictures with the with the mirrors and with scooby and with the mystery machine all that stuff and uh so that was kind of cool um, oh yeah, <laughs> and, yeah then, right. uh, and people were just you know people were just fans of the cartoon and fans of the show but it's really you know when you're at those conventions there isn't that many kids you know even when you go to Gen Con and stuff like that there was never very many uh, and then I mean really that was who we wanted to aim it at was a younger audience but there was I mean 
since Scooby-Doo had been around since around the time I was born, you know, then everybody knew who it was and everybody, you know, loved seeing it. And uh, on that, there's that one uh, Facebook um, uh, place, uh, Dead CCGs uh, yeah, Facebook yeah, group. Yeah, yeah. Um, one of the guy that won the one and only um, uh, card uh, tournament that we had for Scooby-Doo uh, was actually on there. Uh, and he asked me a couple asked me a couple of questions. You know, he was uh, he was wondering about rules and stuff. So I guess he still got a bunch of cards. But that's the only person I've ever met online or anywhere that's that's had cards. Um, Dave May says he has a whole uh, you know the complete set like he does with X Files. You know, in a binder or something like that. I don't even have that. I I so. wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised. Dave May I think has everything. I, yeah, yeah, just whatever he, it is. He had mentioned, yeah. um, who was it, uh, in, in our last interview, uh, they were talking about uh, the, the Gilded set. Yeah, the Gilded set, that was all the different cards. And he said that the card stock for the Gilded set, like the first run, when it came out, it ended up being just a Gilded brick of cards. Oh, yeah. And, and it was like, no, nah, that ain't going to work. And I <laughs> guess everybody was like, yeah, throw it in the chipper. It's done. It was, oh, it was uh, Bob Marquise. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, and it was funny because we, we mentioned that comment in the video and Dave watches our, our, our videos. Hi, hi, Dave. Hey, Dave. Hi, how Dave. you doing? And um, he, he just sends me a text, the bricks exist. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? Yeah. Like our did they try to put oh, it in the chipper and I don't, it jammed it? I don't, like what I don't, I don't know. know. So I, 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 yeah, as far as things that Dave has, I, I would not be surprised if Dave has every one of these cards. Um, <laughs> it's, uh, it, it's a really cool set in that, like, there's just, there's not a lot of it around. I mean, I know, uh, obviously, there, you can talk in value, but talking in gameplay, yeah, it's a lot harder to get these cards than it is to get the yeah. X-Files. Well, yeah, with this, I mean, if, if we raise the hype and people wanted to play, like I don't think the market even exists for people to get enough cards to be able to play. Yeah, other than the freaking oh, sixty dollar comic book, apparently. <laughs> I can't yeah. believe that someone was selling that for that much. That's ridiculous. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. You know, um, so I, I think I told you in one of the other uh, videos when we were talking about X Files and stuff is that there was cases and cases of those comic books at USPC in their warehouse. And they all had my name on them because they, um, the, the guy who had uh, ordered them all had left the company, the vice president. So they put my name on them. So there's like just stacked to the ceiling in this warehouse. And I don't know how, how big, there's just millions of these stupid comic books in there, just boxes of them. And they're so thin, you can imagine how many can fit in the case. And uh, yeah, there was there was way too many of those, but yeah, I'm sure those are all were trashed also. <laughs> so yeah, for who knows, they probably ended up in a chipper or at some auction in Montana, or right? Or David <laughs> May has like pallets of them just sitting in his garage. Every time know? we see every time we see David May, I don't know if you've noticed this in our videos if you watch them, but any anytime we talk to David May, there's always like 50 boxes behind him. Yeah. And I, I'm pretty sure that it's just full of this kind of stuff that like, <laughs> right. But I'm not even sure he knows that it's there. Yeah. But he could find it if we mention it. He's like, oh yeah, I think I had a box yeah, yeah, over here. Yeah. Yeah. Just oh, rip. I just, I just, this mind. is the video where we just rip on David May for yeah, 20 sorry, minutes. Yeah. <laughs> you watch our videos. So we're going to mention some, you. some of the guys that, you know, did the, um, you know, went out and, you know, demoed the cards and stuff like that. Uh, not for Scooby Doo, but for X Files. I mean, they're one of the guys built a table for himself out of X Files boxes because that's how much product he had sitting in his house. Wow, that's awesome. You know, he had like just a, that's what he put his his you know it was all the blue boxes, you know, and it just it was ridiculous the amount of stuff that these uh, that they we gave out to these guys and just didn't go anywhere because you know once once the game died the stores didn't want it anymore right so speaking of stores i had a question about that did scooby-doo did this game ever actually make it into like walmart target uh no. like that no 
Um, it was supposed to. Walmart, that, the reason we made as much as we did is what well, they had a deal with Walmart. And somebody messed up and it didn't happen. It got, it got, it went, it just went down the drain. And so we had all this product and nowhere to put it. So, you know, they contacted all the regular distributors from that time period, which now you still, you know, there's pretty much Diamond and I'm not sure who else, right? You know, for the uh, distributors for that kind of stuff. But we had uh, a few of those and sent them out. So they just went to the, the, the store, the comic book stores and the game stores. That's the only places that they went. None of the big uh, places like the Walmart and Target and all those. They never went. They never went to them because whatever happened with that deal, Dave knows more about that piece of it. But I mean, there's no reason to dig that up. And it just it happened. It happened. So, you know, if if it if that deal had gone through, and all that product had been sold, you might still be seeing Scooby Doo today. But because I I was thinking about it, Scooby Doo. I mean, ha has continued on over the years. Right. Or there's, you know, I mean, there's generations of people that mm -hmm. probably share it with their kids. They keep coming out with movies and new cartoons. Yep. New so movies. I this, you know, year. having expansions, but yeah, I guess it didn't happen. Yeah. You know? yeah. Yeah. I mean, there was just ton, tons of stuff. I mean, you see how many different um, shows and stuff like that had, uh, you know, uh, card games, you know, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Highlander, right? Um, just, I mean, just Doom, <laughs> all this stuff, all these, you know, card games for all these different things. I mean, it was the heyday when the, when this came out. And we sold, I mean, for what it was, we did sell a lot. But, you know, when, when we made the uh, Alien Invasion, uh, and like I said, that just didn't, didn't go anywhere. And then they, you know, uh, three weeks before 9-11, uh, they, <laughs> they booted us out the door. And, uh, <laughs> and that was the end of German press and anything that we were making. So wow. you know, I didn't think about that timing. Do you know, so with the Alien Invasion expansion, was that something kind of planned or was that something that they just kind of brought up oh yeah, like we played I, I made it um we did the same thing that we did with the uh uh the other cartoons we did that because we couldn't do the scooby-doo movies the you know what we were talking about earlier with the uh Warren hardy and all those you know we couldn't do those uh you know couldn't get the three stooges you know permission yeah. <laughs> so uh yeah so they they said well we got a new movie coming out in october so let's do that. And we're like, oh, okay, cool. Let's do the movie. And so we watched the movie and took all the stills from that movie, you know? So that's, once again, probably the only, you know, uh, Scooby-Doo product out there that has stills from one of the movies too, you know, just trivia, you know? And for people that are Scooby-Doo fans, I'm surprised there aren't more people out there looking for it, you know, because there's so many Scooby-Doo like you said, every every year there's new movies and there's new whatever the comic books are coming out. I mean, they they have an, uh, the Scooby Doo regular comic book has been out ever ever since. You know, it's it's out it's out there now. And there's actually a Scooby Doo Batman crossover um, that they can't keep in the stores right now. Uh, you haven't <laughs> seen the comic book either. It's like something that's on sale. So it's too bad. You know, and it, it, I thought it was fun. I thought it was fun, and I think it's a it's a cool game to get kids interested in that kind of a uh, that kind of thing. You know, collecting cards and um, you know playing the Mystery Incorporated. You know, scare your friends with the uh, the different monsters from the show. And it's it seems like a fitting Halloween game, right? It, it really is. does. <laughs> like I until you mentioned it, Brian, I didn't realize that. And I, I might have misunderstood, but when you have the two decks, like we have the Gen Con, wait, what was the name of that? The demo deck? Yeah, the, for demonstration purposes only. Yeah. So is it one deck is actually you're the, the villain and the other deck is that you're the team that's trying to 
Oh, you take turns like you do in X Files. Okay. That makes oh, sense. Yeah, you go back and forth. Yeah. So there'll be the one one is the in, the monster player, and the other is Mystery Incorporated. And then at, um, after they uh, successfully or unsuccessfully uh, investigate that uh, location, you know, you're trying to you're trying to scare everybody away. Everybody has a certain amount of fright points, like you know, Velma and Fred, uh, you know, are harder to scare off, but the other ones have special abilities, right? So. Yeah. How, so when this game came about, how involved were you with the mechanics originally for how the game's going to be oh, created? That, that's, that was us all the time. That's and awesome. it's really funny. When it first started out, before they actually built an office for us, right? In there, the one that you saw, the uh, the German press logo, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, before, they, before they built that, we were like in this upstairs area. And... Um, it started out with just me doing the Scooby-Doo stuff. And it was every day was Dave and I yelling at each other. Not, not um, because we're angry and we hated each other or something like that, but that's how we got things done. We've known each other since high school. So um, we would argue about the mechanics and we would just be yelling at the top of our lungs at each other. Um, this is how we know we do it this way. We do it this way. And the other people in the office are like, what are they? They're talking to each other like this. And <laughs> what the hell is going on? <laughs> and finally, Todd, you know, stepped in and said, and played mediator between Dave and I and um, became heavily involved in it. So it was pretty, it was, uh, it was pretty, once he got in there, and, um, you know, he helped out with a lot of, a lot of what's going on. It was just us bouncing ideas off each other. It was better than just having one person. Do it all anyway. You know, that's, that's awesome. Awesome. Yeah. We should, should we open a pack? Yeah. What do you think about us opening? I mean, these are very well, rare, but few Brian, we time. should mention, I mean, Brian is the reason we have all. Oh this. yeah. These, yeah. This is, yeah, this is yeah, all. Awesome, a couple of people asked me. It's so funny. He said, do you have any more? And I'm like, uh, you know, I keep the last ones I owned to the Xbox guys. No. Oh, oh, what did you get? I actually, I actually pulled a foil. All right. It's a skeleton in an electric chair. That's cool. Oh, looking. Nice. Wow. That's pretty cool. Ooh. You know what we should do? I think with this video we post, I mean, usually we're posting X file CCG, mm -hmm. but there's got to be a fraction of the people that watch our show that want Scooby Doo too, right? Oh, let's give this away. Let's give it away. Yeah, let's give this yeah. away. Absolutely. We'll give it away. So if you really do like Scooby Doo and you're watching this, let us know. Yeah. We'll pick somebody randomly. Yep. Absolutely. And I That's... really hope that I got one. You won't. You, 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 you... I got bat. You got a bat. That's, not That's good. Ba right. I've heard bats pretty pretty rare. Yeah, bats fun. Mystery machine. I'll take it. I'll take Mystery it. Mystery machine. I mean, if that's a little, um, the Mystery Machine foil would be, you know, super rare, right? So Yeah, it wasn't good. <laughs> Let me see. Is that uh, is that foil, Matt? No. You know, if it, the light hits it right. <laughs> <laughs> did you open an alien invasion? Or I did. I, yeah, I opened an alien invasion. I'm which gonna... um I was told I was told that um the uh the foils were actually rarer in uh the alien invasion than the boost the regular is that true i think so yeah it was probably because there's less of them yeah yeah you're just rubbing it's not, it's not as large of a set right so it's just a boost set yeah no these are these, these are cool we're gonna we're gonna build some decks and uh do you have a full set of um um foils of the gang or just I haven't just seen a Scooby. single. I haven't no, seen that's, a single one except for Scooby. So the skeleton in the electric chair is literally the third foil we've we've seen. Okay, I'll look. I'll look up and see what I have. Maybe you guys can do one of your uh, famous contests, and uh, I'll look and see if I can find uh, some more of the uh, foils. Okay. Uh, the, the mystery incorporated. So that's all I've got. If I have it anywhere, I have mystery incorporated. When I when I finally moved. Um, I started finding more and more stuff as I, you know, showed you. So um, we, I'll send, I'll see if I can send you guys a uh, a set of the the foils if you want to do a giveaway or something. Oh, absolutely, oh, we definitely will. Absolutely, yeah, definitely, definitely. Uh, yeah, we'll throw something together. I and and also like, I mean, 
I, I've been able to see and find, you know, a couple of the expandable card game, the two player things. And I'd, and I'd like to find some more of these because I'd like to get some people uh, playing this again. Um, yeah. Can you believe that's the only one I have? And it's funny, there's a box over here that is a box that those decks came in, but it's being used for something else. It's full of like uh, Christmas lights or something. Oh, nice. So, <laughs> yeah. I used, to, I used to have more. I can't believe that I only had one deck or one, you know, deck that's made, you know, it's made for two players, but still only had the one. That's all I had left. I'm sure. Talk to Dave. Talk to Dave. There's got to be. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, oh, man. We're going to post this video and my phone is going to blow up. Mm -hmm. um, Brian, thanks for spending some time with us and talking about this. This is, uh, I know it was something that was more personal to you because uh, then the X-Files, just because you were basically the guy that was in charge of all this. And and uh, it, it means a lot that you're able to share it with us and especially being a spiritual successor, if you will, to uh, the gameplay, the X-Files. And, right. and I uh, wish the other guy was here. I wish the other guy was with us today so that he could talk about this too. He would, he would love to hear his stories, I'm sure. Absolutely. Um, got to give a shout out to, uh, to, to, uh, uh, Mastery Machine. Master. Yep. God. Yeah. So I, and I don't, I don't know if anybody noticed this or if you noticed this, but in that video, uh, well, video, what, uh, when I was hanging out with the, when I was hanging out with evil bunny and we were separating our differences, um, we, uh, <laughs> oh God, we, we found him because it's a business, right? So if you look on the side of the van, it, it actually says mastery machine. We'll give them a second oh. to rewind back. Yeah, go go back. Go, 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 rewind back right, and yeah. look at the van a little closer. So big thanks to Ricky uh, at, at, with the mastery machine. Uh, we'll post a link. He does some amazing uh, web development work, publishing, uh, things of that nature. And uh, he, he, he was more than a good sport in letting us set up a smoke machine yeah inside the van inside <laughs> that, was <awesome>. yeah. <laughs> that, was very, that was very cool yeah so hats off thank you, you. you know that's what it was was a smoke machine that's what it, it wouldn't was have been anything else. yeah that's it what wouldn't it have been anything else. yeah no it wouldn't have been anything yeah. else it's not like this is Oregon or anything no um and again brian thanks for being here um you have any other questions anything else no i'm just really appreciative that you gave us all this to be able to share and then had an interview with us i know and check, check. I think it's awesome that you guys did this i mean i really appreciate you, you know getting the word out there for the 100 viewers that you have uh, 100, um, 143 141 oh it's 42 now we got one recently i think we sometimes we lose one and they come back i don't know why <laughs> <laughs> and uh and and brian check check, check this out look do you see this back here yeah that's the four or uh, the metal one, right? Yeah. Oh, nice. So I can do like all these, uh, all these awesome. Oh, what? Two colors at one time? Yeah. Yeah. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so for cool. playing. Thanks for playing with us, Brian. Thanks, Brian. All right. <laughs> awesome. Can't wait to see more. Oh, more's coming. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs>